Cookie Boy may never be the same after a car accident in which he nearly lost his leg. Now we've learned the driver who did it sped off and has still not been caught. Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton spoke exclusively with the child's family. This is the reason I'm here on earth to watch over and guide him. James the boy prefers this picture of his son over this one. A 12 year old is now in the hospital, a victim of a hit and run last week. Frankie is a uh, very tough individual and he's going to get through this. James says his son Franklin was here last Thursday night before the accident. He was rooting on his sister who had a basketball game at Hope Christian Middle School until he decided to get some food with friends. They went across Paseo del Norte, but the unexpected happened. A car hit Franklin. When he was hit by the mirror, it spun him around, and that's when uh, the right leg went underneath the vehicle. Franklin's leg was run over. At one point, there was a chance it could be amputated. But after a four-hour surgery, he's expected to recover. However, his life may never be the same. As he grows, James says Franklin's leg may not fully develop. Meanwhile, the driver who hit him hasn't been found. It's up to him to turn himself in because it's going to be hard for an individual to be caught at this point. But James says he's not letting that bother him right now. His attention is fully on his son. He's going to have a lot of hurdles to, uh, to overcome. We just put it in God's hands from here on out. You know, that's all we can do. In Albuquerque, Matt Howerton, KUAT, Action 7 News. When the accident first happened, APD said Franklin was not in a designated crosswalk. It is not clear if their investigation confirmed that. The driver that hit him may be in a black sedan with damage to its passenger side.